In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make organic house just like this. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Vlad and I create superstar music producers. So let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna show you step by step how I've done everything, the kick, the bass, the drums, uh, chords, melodies, and so on. So for quite a long time, I was thinking that tracks should be really complicated, that you should have uh, a lot of sounds, which is just isn't true. So if we take a look at this track, so we're gonna start with the kick and with the bass. So for the kick, just like a regular kick that I used uh, for like the sample itself. Yeah, just really regular, simple kick. Uh, and then I used Ableton standard wavetable. And really all I've done here is just a saw wave, right? This is the amp. And the second envelope is just controlling the frequency, the filter cutoff, and this is basically it. And then you can play a little bit with the, maybe with the second. Yeah, it's a little bit interesting. I think it's giving it like more uh, spice and juice. And then I also used unison for this one, uh, three voices and about like 30% amount, and then some side chaining. So you can hear just, the sound on its own with the kick with the bass without like almost any processing besides some um, saturation that I have here so this is without just giving it a little bit more warmth a little bit more uh, glue with the saturation really as simple as that and then for the notes also super simple which is basically focusing on on the main uh, key like the uh, note of the track and then we can play with the velocity here maybe so really really simple guys okay now uh, let's talk about the um, drums so for the drums also like super super simple one thing that I want to say about these drums is that don't hesitate to use the loops so for quite a long time I was that guy who was like, hey, I'm not gonna use any loops, I'm not gonna use any presets. And in fact, like right now I do that. And just to save myself a lot of time, you can tweak it, you can change it later on. But when you produce, the key is speed, how fast you can get the result, right? This is super important. So uh, let's listen to the hats, super simple. A little bit, um, increase the tack here to make it a bit softer because it's like organic house track. So nothing really special here. Uh, then I use this loop that gives, I think, a pretty nice character. And I also EQ it a bit like in an, in an interesting way. So like right now it's just like in the middle. And we can do like this. Right, so that's pretty interesting. And then we can also do like this and make a low shelf, uh, excuse me, high shelf. Yeah, something like this, pretty cool. Okay, as simple as that, and then we have a shaker loop. Again, nothing really special here. But it's also like already sounding really groovy. It's already sounding pretty nice, which I like a lot. Just like this. Uh, and then we have the clap. Also really simple, pretty short decay time because I want it like short and snappy. Maybe we can even do like this. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for the drums guys. Like simple, simple as that. And the more I produce, 
the more I understand that simplicity is really, really the key when it comes to music. And then I also put a little bit of side chain compression. So usually like on the drums, what I found out, I don't like using volume shapers. I like using compressors instead. They just sound a bit more groovy. And without the compressor, just giving it like a little bit of pump. Okay, now let's talk about the chords. I think that's gonna be the most uh, interesting part here. So for the chords, again, I just love using MIDI packs, right? So if I show you, if it will allow me to show, no, it actually doesn't. But basically I just used the MIDI pack and I used chords from Ambient, right? So if we go to chord progressions, E minor, uh, it is, mm, yeah, it was the first one actually. So basically what it does is that you can just drag the chords and you will have like ready chords just like right away without you needing to spend time. Like unless you play keyboard really good, I play keyboard but like not as good to, to be like able to compose like uh, chords. Uh, need a little bit more training here, gotta be honest with you. <laughs> so yeah, super, super cool stuff. MIDI packs, presets, loops, gets the job done, and you can really, really easily then tweak it, change it, but the chords are like this. And I will share the project file with you as well, so don't worry. Really nice. Just as simple as that. And already with the drums, with the kick and with the bass, that's gonna be sounding really good for the beginning, for example. Yeah, and then the next thing that I have is this uh, bowed sound, which sounds like this. Just giving it a little bit more organic, sort of like ethnic feeling. Uh, and I'm using Omnisphere for that. Uh, you will get the, the audio loops. So I'm gonna freeze the tracks. So you can use it if you want. Uh, then, like this, it's already sounding. And this bold sound, it's almost like an atmosphere, like a texture at the background of the track. Uh, then I do have uh, strings and so the strings are basically the same chords that I used uh, for the chords. I just removed some of the notes so the frequencies so they don't like clash too much with each other. So what you can also do is to play with the notes, play like with, with, with the timing and, and stuff like that. For this one, I just use the chords, but obviously you can go like way more interesting with this. So just depending on what you want. All right, and let's listen together with the kick, uh, the bass and the drums. Sounds pretty beautiful, right? Uh, then I do have some additional sounds. So I think, yeah, there was something like, again, some sort of bold sounds. I'm using these a lot, like as textures, as atmospheres. So all together, it's gonna sound like this. It's giving it, it's like organic vocal kind of feeling which is really nice, just fills up the space. Uh, then I do have little fillers here, which is basically like bells to emphasize the specific parts of the arrangement, right? So with, with it, sounds pretty interesting. If you're gonna listen to this. Then there is uh, one more like additional melody, which is copying the one that I have here. So uh, I might use it, might not. Even like on its own, it sounds pretty, pretty good. 
Uh, but when we have this melody, which I'm going to break down for you also, guys, uh, it just adds a little bit, sort of like a layer, additional vibe, just we are emphasizing, uh, putting an accent on a specific part, sounding pretty good. All right, uh, and then basically what we have left is going to be the vocal. So for the vocal, I just use like, the contact library, uh, nothing really special there, uh, but it sounds, uh, sounds like this. And then I put some uh, Valhalla Supermassive because it's like, uh, quite often it sounds way more interesting than the reverb and when you combine it with the reverb, it's also giving like uh, cool space to the, uh, to the sound. Actually, I'm not sure if we can use uh, these here because it's sort of like clashing with the melody or not. We can check. Uh, but yeah, basically that's pretty much it for the first part. And then there's just the, um, the melody that we have. So this little note is pretty cool, just adding like a little bit of groove here. And what I've done, I played this on my computer keyboards, just, you know, I was just playing around like, okay, this sounds good. And then I just added some variation here, like, like this, like this, and this one I also like used more of, uh, I just clicked with the mouse basically, yeah. So yeah, that's for, for the melody, and this is how the um, first part of the track sounds. So all together. This one, I mean, it's okay. Maybe we can remove that. Who knows? I can just deactivate. But yeah. Okay, and now we have the second part. Uh, which is a little bit different, but really the only thing that changed here is that we changed the melody, we changed the rhythm and the sounds. And the melody itself, again, I just used my computer keyboard, even if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can do good stuff, so. Right, so. As simple as that, here I just basically changed the note and uh, yeah, I just played, just improvised a bit and this is it. Um, one of the things that I feel like could work for this track is working a little bit more on the drums, but like quite often, some of the organic house tracks, they have uh, two, um, two hard drums, like with two, two like hard transients, which you don't like. And for this track, maybe I can add some percussion, maybe I can work a little bit, you know, uh, add details to the drums. But like overall, the track is at the point where you can just copy the arrangement, right? And let's say like we're gonna do, yeah, I feel like five minutes max. And this is like pretty, pretty much it, right? So it's really easy to uh, make the um, uh, full track out of this loop. By the way, guys, if you want me to make a full tutorial on this track, how to turn it into from a loop into a full track, just let me know in the comments below and uh, I will make a video for you because I know some of you asked about this. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And if you want to work one-on-one -on, -one on your music with me, if you're looking to get signed to a record label, start playing DJ gigs, and really grow professionally as a DJ and producer, I have a full course on that. You can book a coaching call. There's going to be a link down below. And you can also shoot me a message on Instagram. We can chat and see if I can help you. Right, so that's gonna be it for today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.